All right, I've gone ahead and I've connected my scan tool up to the vehicle here and uh, launched the uh, scan tool software. I'm going to go ahead and select vehicle up here at the top. And uh, what's happening right now is, is I, you can see the selections that we have here to choose from. This is a GM vehicle, so I'm going to go ahead and select GM. And right now, uh, the scan tool is talking to the vehicle to see what type of tool or see what type of vehicle we have. And as you can see, it's actually downloaded the information about the vehicle. I didn't have to punch any of that in. You can see here that this is a 2000 Pontiac Grand Prix with a 3.8 liter V6, and there's the VIN number. And in fact, all that information is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and select yes. And these are the choices that I have to choose from. Um, I am going to take a look in powertrain here in a minute, but before I do that, I'm going to do uh, select this uh, DTC health check. And what the scan tool is doing right now is it's actually uh, taking a look at all of the modules that are on board the vehicle. You can see it just looked at the PCM. Uh, now it's checking the chassis. Uh, it's also checking the body module, and it's uh, interrogating each one of those modules to see if any uh, DTCs or diagnostic trouble codes are set. And you can see uh, that in this case it found that there was four modules on board the vehicle. Uh, in the PCM there were actually eight DTCs logged for a total of eight. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And now I can go back and I can take a look at each one of these DTCs here up here in the PCM. And as I scroll down you can see here uh, there are all my DTCs. Uh, the first one that comes up here is this P0420, uh, which is actually a catalyst system efficiency low. Um, it's something that's telling me that I may have a problem with a catalytic converter. Um, in order to maybe do a little more checking to see if I can find some information to confirm if that converter is right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back out of my health check and I'm going to go ahead to powertrain. And I'm going to take a look at the data list display here. And as I'm downloading that data, I do have the key on, uh, although I do not have the engine running right now. Um, the way we're going to determine if that converter is working right is we're going to take a look at the oxygen sensor information. So we're going to go ahead and click on this data list here. And what that's going to do is bring up information that's specific or frequently information that we like to look at with our oxygen sensor. Now on this particular vehicle, there's actually two oxygen sensor. There's a heated oxygen sensor number one and there's a heated oxygen sensor number two. Um, number one is actually the sensor that's ahead of the catalytic converter, and number two is the uh, sensor that's after the catalytic converter, or in other words, the pre and the post uh, converter sensors. I'm gonna head and select or highlight those two, and then I'm gonna click done over here, and what that's gonna do for me is that's gonna bring up just those two data parameters that I wanna take a look at. The reason I do that is because that's going to allow these update rates to go much quicker uh, so I can see how those sensors are switching. Uh, at this point what I'm going to do is go ahead and start the vehicle. And you can see my vehicle is now running or hear it and actually my sensors are switching. Um, because of the fact that that might be a little difficult to see, I'm going to go ahead and graph some of this information so I have a visual look at what those two sensors are doing. And right now you can see that sensor number one is red and sensor number two is blue. And you can actually see those two sensors now switching back and forth um, across my graph up there. I'll speed the engine up to get a little bit more switching going on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and let her slow down here. I'm going to go ahead and stop that information that you see coming across the screen. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and click on the zoom feature of the scan tool and then I'm going to zoom in on a particular area there and if I want to I can actually zoom in on that even a little bit further and there you can see and again what you can see here is sensor number one which is in red you can see it's switching back and forth and that's what you would expect on a switching sensor but sensor number two which is the post converter sensor if that uh, converter was working the way it should be it should not be switching in time with our first sensor um, in other words what you really should see is a curve or a, a signal that looks fairly flat in comparison uh, to my sensor number one because sensor number two is basically following along with sensor uh, number one, it would appear, based on this data right here, 
um, that my converter is in fact not functioning at all. In other words, the gases that are going in are exactly the same as the gases going out and the sensor uh, number two proves that because of the fact that the two signals are basically the same. Um, before I would condemn this converter I would probably perform a few more checks on it to make sure it works uh, or make sure in fact uh, that it is not functioning and at that point uh, if I conclude that I've got a bad converter that's probably how we're going to have to fix this particular code uh, in terms of this P0420. So there's one of the ways that you can use your scan tool to figure out what's going on.